a note on Black Narcissus. An exceptional film, thought-provoking, a meditation on, on religion, on uh, helping others, on what does it mean to be a nun, and resilience, on living up there in the Himalayas among... <laughs> Here I hesitate because in the film they call them savages. Uh, various times and indeed there are some things that the people do which cannot be qualified as very decent civilized but then natives is more appropriate it's not just politically more correct but um, more accurate we learn and we've been learning uh, at least over the past few decades that uh, uh, there are differences in cultures but things we we believe here and we do do not necessarily uh, meet the highest criteria and are the same as in the East. In the East, uh, for instance, on the whole speaking, speaking on the whole, um, they pay more attention to, uh, to the community, They're more collectivist, as opposed to more individualistic in the West. And in other words, they may be, they are probably onto something and they're doing things better if they emphasize on that tradition, family, community. Positive psychology, for instance, has discovered that family is, and friends, social support, is the most important um, ingredient for happiness. Now, a group of nuns is sent to a remote um, a monastery up in the mountains, in the Himalayas, no less, where it is very difficult. It's, it's uh, it's not just uh, difficult to to work there with the people around, but uh, it is <laughs> difficult to survive, to breathe, to stay healthy. And uh, Deborah Kerr is wonderful, and Sister Cloda, she's sent as Mother Superior in this remote place with a group of, of nuns selected by the Mother Superior in the former monastery. Uh, in an interesting way, as a manager, you need Sister Honey because she's friendly with the rest. You will need this sister for the gardening. And this sister is difficult. S sister Ruth will be a lot of trouble. There they meet David Farrar, the actor, as Mr. Dean, a handsome man who is, again, both a source of, of trouble, so to say, much of it, most of it, uh, uh, against his will, so to say. He doesn't mean anything wrong or bad, but for instance, uh, what can he do if uh, Sister Ruth falls in love with him? Uh, and um, he is also the man who offers solutions. If there's something in so Sister Koda is at, at, at one point overwhelmed and, and upset, well, if anything is wrong, Mr. Dean, Mr. Dean, Mr. Dean. And she is upset with him because, come to think of it, I made a wrong statement. He does make mistakes uh, which he could control, unless we, we think errare humanum est, so it, to, to mistake is human, and then the mistakes he makes are human when he gets drunk on that one night. <laughs> I was thinking that's a personal uh, reproach. Uh, he was writing and so did all the others, for that matter. Uh, very small uh, 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 horses, ponies, and I was uh, nearly, he, he, he nearly has to, to keep his ha uh, legs in the air because the pony is so small. It's like riding a dog, and I thought that's inhumane. But, well, speaking of habits, these, these were the habits. There is an actor called Sabu, and he he's, uh, has the role of the young general who's also causing some mischief uh, because he falls in love with a girl who is taken uh, taken in at the monastery. And as I said, there the, it's interesting to, to, to watch this, uh, this uh, well, these conflicts because there are a few between, between duty and passion, uh, between uh, 
human frailty and the duty to work, they try to help, but sometimes it's difficult, next to impossible. In fact, Mr. Dean wants them early on. Be careful, don't get involved in cases if you're doing, if you're helping them with medicine, with, and they do, and in all our others, our other uh, manners, other ways. Don't get involved in difficult cases because if somebody dies, they will blame you. And not just blame you, it's dangerous. Indeed, it seems at one point there is such a case, and it seems that uh, uh, the very life of maybe not just one, a few, all of the nuns is in danger. So it's life uh, the limit. Uh, it's living in danger. Uh, role models, indeed, these are women who are not just unselfish, but uh, nearly ready to sacrifice themselves. Going there is in itself an act of extreme bravery. And the film has been included on the list of the New York Times best 1000 movies ever made.